Good afternoon, guys. We're off to Bacalad, SM City Mall. Thumbs up, take care, God bless, and to all my YouTube subscribers, I hope you're all having a beautiful day, guys. Thumbs up, and to all my friends on FB, take care, God bless. Hi guys, we're here at the SM City Mall, back -hollered. Well, what an hectic day. Traffic jams all the way to back -hollered. from, it was quite fine, from Mercia. Soon as we hit the traffic lights in back -hollered. wow, bad traffic. We got down here, Gasano's Mall, grand, wow. Lot, got to the flyover, then the big traffic jam just before the flyover, went over the flyover in a traffic jam. And I'm not sure if it were a crash there and they were also doing road works. So it were like one mile an hour on the bike. So it were very, very slow. And we got down the road, we had to turn right, then we had to turn left and turn Turn another left, get back onto the onto the main road. Did I know where I was going half of the time? No. I was following the traffic and just listening to the girlfriend. So we got back onto the main road. I ain't got a clue where I was going. And don't forget, you like it was just tiptoeing. A little bit of frockle tiptoeing. A little bit of frockle tiptoeing. So I was just tiptoeing on the bike. And then we managed to get through a lot of the traffic and we got in, because we got diverted into Libertad, we went round into Libertad and we, we, we got near the plaza in Libertad, quite a back quarter mile off the plaza and I pulled up and I said, which way? And my, the girlfriend said, straight through. So I said, so I was ready to go straight through, then I indicated left. And then the traffic warden, lady traffic warden, wow, very hard work. You're not paid enough, guys, very, very hard work. I says, can I go through? And she went, no. You had, you had the chance, she says, go that way. <laughs> so because I was indicating that way, I looked. Made sure I was safe to pull out, then I just went that way. And then we got to the SM. Anyway, Kim Bobs. Let's chat about Kim Bobs for a while. We'll get back to the traffic. Crazy traffic. Well, it's half an hour waiting, Kim Bobs. The, she did, the, the girl just said, it's half an hour wait, so I mean, they're hard working girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, there at Kim Bobs. They do work hard, it's hard work. But the system there is crazy. You're just standing, sitting, waiting for half an hour. An hour sometimes, you're just waiting. There's no number call, so you have to keep getting up, looking, asking, is my number there? Or you have to remember who's in the queue. There's no screen with a number, like in Jollibee's. It's crazy. So I think that's the last time we're going to eat here at Kim Bob's. I don't think we'll go back to Kim Bob's. Been four or five times to Kim Bob's, but... I don't think I'll go back. Just crazy waiting. There's no screen on the wall. You don't know when your number's up. It's absolutely crazy. So, if you're a foreigner, there in back colored, I'll give you a nice tip. Chicken country. Go to chicken country. Absolutely beautiful food. Nice chicken. And it's just at the side of the SM. So don't eat in the SM. Unless you really want to. I mean, I like to eat in the SM. It's really nice. I do like to eat in the SM. I don't like the hour wait or half an hour wait. So, I think next time just go to Chicken Country. So, we parked the bike up. And I left my keys in the bike. Got in the mall in the SM. I said, where's my keys? <laughs> I had to go back out to the SM. I left them in the bike. So... The SM's looking really nice, guys. It's actually looking really, really nice. You know, beautiful big Christmas trees. Like I said, security guys there are quite nice. <laughs> but the lady, the the lady enforcer. I mean, she she 
I'm a foreigner, don't forget, so I stick out like a sore thumb. So I saw her looking and I, and I shout, shouted to her instead of just sat there. I said, can I go? No. She, she knew, she already knew that I was going straight forward. Then I changed my mind. She already knew she was that quick. I mean, and she's driving traffic through and there's traffic, crazy traffic. Wow. What an hard, what an hard job that is. Trafficking forces. But keep safe, God bless. But dry, ra riding motorbikes in the Philippines, guys, be very, very careful. Lot of good drivers, lot of good riders. Some will let you through, some won't let you through. Some will charge about, some won't charge about. And especially if you don't know where you're going. So always be very careful. We'll chat about free bike smash later. So yeah, where we, why we was actually in the SM, we went shopping and we bought some bath soap, some vitamins, quite a few things from one of the shops there in the mall and we bought a nice bag actually. What it was is we'd got a carrier bag full of stuff and I says you'll never carry that on the bike. So what we did... So, so I said to the girlfriend, you'll never carry that on the bike. I said, it's too heavy. So we went and bought a nice bag. It was actually on special offer. Oh, says I think. I'll show you the bag. It's a nice bag. And it were on special offer. So I think it come to about 500 pesos, 700 pesos. But quite a nice bag. I'll show you the bag. And then we packed the bag full of shopping, so it was really heavy. So, without the bag, she, there's no way we'd have got home. Because I said to the security guard, which which way out, sir? We, how do we get out? Which is the best way out? And he says, round there, sir. And the girlfriend said, no, go that way. Well, we went that way, and we ended up in, in quite a few bad places. Uh, wow, some of the... We ended up in, I don't know if it were the docks, but there were a lot of shady people there. So we ended up in a bad place, so we spun round quick and we got out of the place quickly. But like I said, there's a lot of great people there in the Philippines. You know, some will help you, some will kill you, some will eat you, just like the UK. You know, same the world around, lots of nice people here. And then, like I said... You, you always get one or two bad ones. And don't forget, you're a foreigner, so you will stick out like a sore thumb. But like I said, a lot of nice people here. Very helpful, very kind, very humble. One or two, not so good. But that's everywhere in the world. So we got out of the quick. We managed to find our way back onto the main road. And then we went through a libertad. And we're driving through Liberty. I've had to do a voiceover, guys. Too much music playing in the SM. So we went into Liberty. You know, my girlfriend directions. Up there. Down there. Up there. Down there. So we, we just went into Liberty. Got down a bit of a dark street. Not too dark in, in Liberty. There's three motorbike crash. So there's three scooters. And one of them smashed up on the floor, and it was quite dark actually, but I could see four or five people there. So I don't know how bad the accident was. I think somebody probably got hurt, but they're probably okay, because I, I saw quite a few stood there. So be very careful. Always keep safe when you're riding your motorbike. You know, if you're charging through traffic and you're pulling in front of other bikes, and you, you've got like, you, you can't go anywhere for a start. There's cars in front of you or lorries in front of you. So why you have to charge up at back of a lorry, then you can't see where you're going. You know, it can be quite dangerous. But there's quite a lot of good bike riders, lorry drivers, car ride drivers in the Philippines. And they'll let you through. So guys,
So guys, it were quite hectic going, traffic jam going to Bacolod and then a traffic jam going back home, but quite quite a nice long day out. So we did enjoy it anyway. God bless. Take care. Happy weekend. Please like and subscribe. Please make a comment. Like I said guys, keep safe on your motorbikes. Look what you're doing. Same with car drivers. Please give way. I mean, I do give way to cars. Well, you've got no choice. You, sometimes you just have to give way. Even if, you know, if they pull in front of you, either stop or you crash. But, like I said, a lot of good car drivers, bike, bike riders here in the Philippines. I think what it is, after work, everybody's just crazy to get home. You know, they just speed about to get home.